Good evening and welcome to tonight's presentation of Noche La NBA, an annual tradition in the NBA celebrating diversity and culture and always a pleasure to bring it to you. Our game tonight featuring the Chicago Bulls as they go up against the Orlando Magic. Alongside Mike Fratello and Clark Kellogg, I'm Kevin Harlan. David Aldridge is with us from the sidelines. Looking at this matchup, Mike, we have for you tonight two teams that like to slow things down and operate in the half court. You're talking about team teams that like to control the pace of the game. They don't want to get out and wind up with 110, 115 shots a night on the basket. They want to execute their plays in the half court area. They want the opponent to have to play outstanding defense for more than just six or seven seconds. By controlling it, they feel they can keep the score close and it gives them a chance to win the game. Now here's Turner, the kick out to Scott. Some nice ball movement by the Magic. Four on the shot clock. Wow, came this close to a four-point play. Well, over the line for three free throws. The Magic shooting their first free throws. First trip to the line in this one. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. That one is no good. Pippen. Jackson outside. Pass to Purdue. To the middle. Trying to find Pippen. He's got it now. Hits the jump hook. The big man, Purdue, possesses a good feel for when to give it up. And just over a minute played here in the start of the game. The pass to Turner. to Anderson back to Turner Harold the pass to Scott shoots over Pippen and it's good with time running down on the shot clock and here's Jordan he'll bring it up for Chicago their last encounter was in Orlando where they were able to handle the matchup you know they were able to grab the win in their last matchup in large part because of the way they controlled the boards yeah, they were tenacious with their rebounding. And it'll be interesting to see if the opposition can match that effort this time. Now, here's Pippen. He picked up 12 points in their last win again. And he was a real wrecking ball defensively, seen by the four steals he had in the game. Now, here's Scott. Scotty Pippen unable to get his shot to go. Turner with it. Inside. Scott kicks to Hero, launches it, and it's Paxson with the rebound. For Chicago, they've gone one or three for the field to start this one so far. Grant outside. Pass to Jordan. Good, and Grant gets the assist. For his position, Grant has good vision with the ball. I mean, he can find open guys. Side, Scott, the pointer, good on the triple. Scott's got five points so far. 
And that's exactly what they want to do, get him open looks early. Now, here's Paxton. Looking at his numbers, he's averaging about uh, six and a half points a game. Pippen, the pass to Jordan. Bogdan needs to get off a shot here. Grant. Good work defensively by Turner. Solid defensive effort. Putting in the work to protect the hoop and disrupt his shot. Pass to Harold. And here in the first quarter, with a little over three and a half minutes played, the feed to Anderson. There's the double team with Grant on the pass to Turner. For the three. Oh, and he almost had a four-point play right there. He'll go to the line with a chance for three. It goes on Horace Grant. For Orlando, they have shot two free throws, and they're one of two so far. Two shots. First free throw is good. Now for the teams, Clark in position for the playoffs. Do you think they're looking at the bracket, scoreboard watching, hoping for a certain matchup? Well, you know, there's always going to be teams that you match up well against Kevin and vice versa, but you don't get to choose who you play. The most important thing is to be healthy and to be playing good basketball. That way, you're ready for anybody. So he hits one of two from the strike. And so it's Pippen with it. He brings it up for the bowl. It's a three-point game. Floats it up for Pippen. Oh, he touched it while it was in the cylinder. That's offensive basket interference. Magic leading by three. Outside, Scott. Jordan against Anderson, and stolen by Jordan. And now, here's Pippen with the fast break chance. And it's Grant that time on the assist by Pippen. Very impressive stuff from Grant there. Tremendous concentration. Outside, Scott. This is it to Anderson. Over Jordan. Paxson with the steal. In transition, here come the Bulls. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. What I like about Paxson is that he knows his role. Doesn't play outside of himself. The Bulls shooting their first free throws of the night. Two shots. And he makes the first. Both free throws good from Paxson. And he's making him count at the charity strike. No surprise there. Orlando's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Pass to Scott. Scott is screen. Six to shoot. And there's the call on Michael Jordan. That's his first foul. The next foul will put them in the penalty. You have to be careful now. You don't want to give away free points at the line. Pass to Anderson. Turner with a screen on Pex. Here's Anderson. Pocket six. Sinks the 15-footer. Fighting back and forth for the lead. Man, this is a real battle. Well, I just wonder who will be the first to start giving up ground. So far, it's been tight. Now, here's Jordan. 
Coming off a solid outing against Washington. Hexton outside. Purdue the screen. High post try. Nice jump shot. Good. Anytime Paxson can get to his jump shot, it's a win for this offense. Anderson outside. Again, the magic score. It's been neck and neck, Mike, this entire first half. Yeah, eight lead changes so far. These clubs are looking evenly matched. Now, here's Pippen. And he can certainly fill it up when they need him to. He's averaging almost 21 points a game. Purdue, no luck. That was tough to watch. He takes it all the way to the cup and just can't finish the job. Guarded by Paxson. The pass to Scott. Scott with a screen on Paxson. Goes up from the top of the key. It's hauled in by Purdue. Even though they came up empty, that's exactly the shot they want. They'll take that kind of look every time down the floor. Hopefully with a different result next time. Now here's Jordan. And get a load of his scoring totals. Huge numbers for him. An average of just about 29 points a game. Pippen down low. Defended by Scott. Pippen the pass to Paxson. That falls nicely on the feed that time from Pippen. Paxson's got seven points in the game. Kicks it to Turner. Passes it to Anderson. Outside, Scott wants to get it to Turner and does. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. Sensational ball movement there. When you pass the ball like that, good things happen. For Chicago, they've gone 5 of 9 from the field here in the first. Pass to Jordan. Stolen by Anderson. One on one here. Banked in off the glass. Anderson's got his third bucket of the night. Like seeing Anderson attack in transition. He's good at getting to the right spot. Jackson kicks to Pippen. Jordan deciding where to go with it. And they double up Jordan. Shot clock at six. Jackson outside. No good on the triple. Orlando leading. Pass to Turner. And there's the pass to Anderson. And stolen by Jordan. They're running. Here's Paxson. The rebound by Turner. The Magic have gone 6 of 8 in the game so far. A very solid start for them. Scott the pass to Turner. Side, Scott, six on the shot clock. Over Pippen. Chicago grabs the miss. And the shooter had really no airspace to get that shot off. That's good D. Yeah, terrific defense. Doing a great job contesting without foul. Jordan passes to Pippen. Kicks it out to Grant. Here's Paxson. And he nails the jumper. Paxson's got it all tied up now for Chicago. Paxson known for being a laser, but not as much for making tough shots when he's contested. But he can do that, too. Time call here. The Magic decided to talk it over. They're coming into this game off that recent loss to Atlanta. And, you know, they just couldn't get dialed in from deep, which is why they struggled. Well, I think they made things too easy on the defense. They should have focused more on moving the ball around the perimeter and trying to tire them out. Chicago going with an almost entirely new group. Kings check in for Purdue. Williams comes in for Grant. Hodges checked in for Jordan. And Armstrong subbed in for Paxson. Wow. 
so it's Orlando now. Here's Newman. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against the Hawks in Atlanta. Anderson wide open. It's good from long range. Anderson's got nine. Great, fast-paced play by Anderson. Not giving the defense time to get on it. Now Armstrong. He had 10 points in the win against Washington. Pippen up and in on the way. Pippen's got his second bucket of the night. Just owning that painted area. I guess the motto is do it till they stop it. Here is Shaw. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Atlanta. Here's Reynolds. And the first shot of the night for him, no good. And here's Pippen. Armstrong with it. Right now he's averaging 11 points a game. So they take the lead. And the Bulls lead by one. I like this play call by Armstrong. Intelligently moving things around to create for himself. Perilous screen on Armstrong. Passes to Reynolds. Makes it off the glass. One team gains momentum, then the other storms back. Back and forth we go, Kevin. If this is any indication of how the game is going to go, we got us a real treat on our hands. Here's Pippen after the Magic pickup, too. Williams has a screen for Pippen over Anderson, and the Bulls tack on two more. This is a shot Pippen is very comfortable with. He's extremely effective in the mid-range. Pass to Newman. Pass to Anderson. Here is Shaw. He's covered by Armstrong. Shaw, no good. Chicago leading. Pippen outside. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Pippen's so creative at drawing fouls. Just baits the defenders in the foul on him so he can get to the line. This is his first chance at the line tonight. Scotty Pippen. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw good from Pippen. Points, assists, rebounds, defense. Scotty Pippen gives your team all of that. Every team in the league wants a guy like him. Second free throw, no good. Here is Shaw. Nothing on the board. Here's Reynolds. And again, it's Orlando with the three. Boy, Brian Shaw could have rolled that ball to his teammate. He was so wide open. At the end of one, a closely contested game so far. Magic lead by one. We'll get things started in the second quarter when we return. We welcome you back to Noche Latina. Becoming an annual tradition is always here on 2K Sports and always exciting. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. A scoring breakdown for the Magic. You know, right from the start, it seemed they got hot from three-point range, pulling apart the defense and racking up the points, too. Yeah, and another thing is they found the open man. Really being unselfish with the ball and making the extra pass tonight. Now, here is Jordan. Over to the left wing. Shoots it up. Armstrong gets the bucket. Armstrong's got the first basket of the second quarter for the Bulls. So for the Bulls, their last game, a win against Washington. 
here is Shaw. Now the pass to Newman. Here is Shaw. Lock at six. There's a screen. The Magic need to get a shot off here. Big shot on the way. He clangs that one off the back iron and down it falls. You know, neither side willing to back up at all. This game has gone back and forth. Both teams trading shots and trading leads. It's been neck and neck. Now here's King. Coming in off a 12-point game his last outing. Armstrong kicks to Jordan. Pops it up for Jordan. King, that's good. King's got his first basket of the night. Orlando's gone two or four from long range in the game. Pass to Newman. Second quarter of basketball, just over a minute and a half played. Broke loose. And here we go. Jordan going to the hoop. And slam dunk by Jordan. Oh, Jordan snags it in the bucket. The Magic trail by three. Austin Newman. To the inside. Here's Scott. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Scott's got his third basket of the night right there. And you know, passes like that go a long way. Terrific teamwork. Hodges the pass to Jordan. And they double up Jordan. Hodges misses. The Magic have gone two or three from the field here to open the second quarter. Here's Reynolds. Williams with the defensive effort. The Bulls have gone three or four from the floor here in the second quarter. Down low. Slam dunk by Jordan. There it is right there in front of you, Jordan, going to work and dunking it like only he can. Pass to Newman. Here in the second quarter, about three minutes played. The pass to Scott. Five on the clock. Orlando moving the ball around. The three. Shaw, no good. The Bulls leading by three. Jordan kicks to Armstrong. Out to the right wing. Fades and shoots. That one falls. King's got four points now in the quarter. Big fellas got a nice stroke now. Stacy King to knock it down from the mid range. Passes it to Newman. Pass to Scott. Fires the three. It's hauled in by Hodges. Bulls have gone five and six so far from the field in the second quarter. Here's Jordan. King, the pass to Jordan. Scott pulls it in. The Magic trail by five. Here's Reynolds. 20 points for him last game against Atlanta. Shaw, no good. And this is the type of shot they want. Coming up empty there. But I won't be shocked if they try to go back to this. The kick out to Williams. Pass to Armstrong. Back to Williams. Here is Hodges. Still scoreless. Here's Armstrong. Great look there, but off target. Orlando's gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. Here's the pass to Newman. it to Scott. The end of route. The shot by Wilson. No good. The Bulls leading by five. Outside, Jordan to the left wing. Williams kicks to Armstrong. Pass to Jordan. That's the three fly. Hands it from downtown. Jordan's got the lead up to eight now for the Bulls. And Jordan understands when to shoot from deep. His shot selection is really fantastic. Pass to Reynolds. They set the pick. And the officials will call the illegal screen right there. 
As we get a break in the action now, let's take a look at the East and how the teams are stacking up. You look at the Bulls. They've continued to play strong basketball, if not utterly dominant, as the last part of the season grinds toward the playoffs. And it looks like, guys, they'll hold on to that number one spot the whole way there. And checking out Orlando. Not in the same realm right now in terms of their record. Armstrong against Scott. Shoots from the elbow. And it's Armstrong missing. Well, there wasn't much there in terms of defensive pressure. I'm sure he'd like another crack at that shot. They get it back. Knocks it loose. Now here's Jordan. Nine points in the game so far. Now the pass to Armstrong. To the wing right side. King against Wilson. Jordan up top. The jumper from the free throw line is good. And now it's a 10-point Bulls lead. And a closer look here at the hustle stats for the Bulls. They're attacking on defense. Getting those hands out, knocking the ball free. Really like their energy defensively. And, you know, another thing that's been working for them tonight, scoring off turnovers, points off miscues. They've been converting any mistakes at the other end. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group here. Purdue, he's checked in for King. Grant comes in for Williams. Scotty Pippen's checked in for Hodges. And it's Paxson in for Armstrong. And with the summer games coming up, Clark, NBA players will be eligible to represent their countries for the first time. What a great change that's going to be. Extremely exciting because we know the rest of the world has basically been playing with pro players against college players from the U.S. So now, with that rule being changed, it really opens up the USA to have a stacked and loaded team with all of that NBA talent. A few guys still have a sour taste in their mouth after the 88 games as well. So 92, a special year for USA basketball. The shot's good from Paxson. A floor spacer who is always ready to fire. Paxson is terrific on catch and shoot jumps. Kicks to Turner. Passes it to Anderson from outside the arc. Rebound by Pippen. Bulls leading by nine. To the paint. Purdue the pass to Pippen. Good ball movement here by the Bulls. Grant dishes to Jordan. Just four to shoot. Outside Pippen. Launches a three. Here's Purdue. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. The seven-footer playing tough. Purdue goes into the interior coverage and gets the foul. The Bulls shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. Shooting two. The first one falls. And at seven feet, 240 pounds, you can count on Purdue to set good, hard screens and thusly free up his teammates to create on offense. And the Bulls making a change here. Armstrong's checked in. He hits one and misses one, each at the line. The Magic trail by 10. And the layup's good off the glass. Anderson's got five points now in the quarter. Man, Anderson can really fill the stat sheet. Lethal from all spots on the hardwood. It's Pippen with the drive. Good D by Anderson. Lando's gone 4 of 8 tonight from three-point land, shooting 50% on the free ball here. Pulls up on the wing. Jump shot is good. Anderson's got 16. The Bulls leading by 6. Now Paxson. 11 points in the game. And here's Armstrong. The shot's good. 
six points for him. Really solid work from the mid-range there. I love seeing Armstrong rise up with the confidence he has in that stroke. Turner with the screen on text. Anderson outside. A shot by Turner, no good. Chicago is gone one or two on three quarters here in the second quarter so far. Paxton outside. That's another one for him. His fifth in just seven shots. Boy, I tell you what, it's been a special night from Paxton, huh? This guy's on top of his game. Pass to Turner. Feeds it to Anderson. The turnaround misses off the left eye. The Bulls leading by 10. Two with the ball. 13 points in the game. Here's Armstrong. Good, and Grant gets the assist. Grant's got three assists tonight. For a smaller play like BJ, that floater is a must. It bypasses the shot blockers. Here is Shaw. Still without a basket. Pass to Anderson. And the rejection by Pippen. Pippen putting in the work to get there for the denial. That was really a nice hustle play. Inside, here's Purdue. An easy two points on the way. Purdue's got the lead up to 14 now for Chicago. Fighting to keep the play going. Grabbing the board and sending it right back. And there's the pass to Harrell. Grant against Turner. Here is Shaw. Out to Turner. Six to shoot. Shot to stop the run. Jackson pulls it in. And it's in there. Effort is a skill. And one he possesses in abundance. The Bulls leading by 12. Outside Pippen. Jackson outside. To the inside. Stolen by Anderson. 32 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. Kicks to Turner. He feeds it to Anderson. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. A tough frame to deal with inside. Anderson knows just how to use his body to his advantage. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Nick Anderson at the line for one. Free throw, good Anderson. And Anderson is a key part of this rotation, specifically because of his scoring ability. Nixon outside. Floats it up for Pippen. And stolen by Scott. Up in time. The shot misses. Pippen known as a lockdown defender and with good reason he has great length and quickness and outstanding defensive instincts which annoy shooters. And so it's Chicago. Ahead by nine as the quarter comes to a close. They're feeling very confident shooting the ball with great efficiency and dictating the pace. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. And for those of you just tuning in, thanks for being with us. The second half of this game still to play. Orlando with the ball. They trail by nine points. Guarded by Paxson. The feed to Scott. Shoots over Pippen. Scott, good. 
Scott's got his team on the board first here in the second half for Orlando. Outside, Jordan. Jordan is double. Good D by Anderson. The Magic trail by seven. He's guarded by Purdue. Passes to Scott. Over Pippen. Again, the Magic score. And if you give him space like that in the mid-range, he won't hesitate to let it fly. Scott's getting it done, shooting over 55%. Five of nine, shooting from the floor. Purdue, the pass to Grant. Now, here's Pippen. Here's Paxson. That pump from Paxson. It baited the defender. Gets him to the line. Impressive how he endured that contact and still got the shot to go down. That took a lot of focus and just the right amount of power. He's gone two for two at the line so far. First team foul. At the line for the Bulls, John Paxson. One shot. That free throw, good from Paxson. The Magic trail by eight. Outside, Scott, and the call will be against Scotty Pippen. That is his first foul of the game. First team foul. Carroll finds Turner. Orlando moving the ball around. Shot clock at six. Carroll a screen on Pex. Boy, great defense by Purdue there. He's big, he's smart, and he takes great angles too. Pass to Jordan. Pulls up on the elbow, Purdue, and it's good, assisting on the play was Jordan. And it's a 10-point Bulls lead. It's easy to jack up three-pointers. These guys are putting in the work. Pass to Turner. The pass to Anderson. That one, no good. Jordan with some nice deep. Paxson kicks to Jordan. Grant the bounce pass. Purdue against Turner. Here's Pippen. And the Bulls tack on two more. Pippen wasting no time firing off that pass there. The Magic trail by 12. Passes it to Harrell. Outside Turner. Guarded by Paxson. Bucket is good. Great possession there. He ends up with a look right at the rim. Three minutes gone now in the third quarter. Jordan outside. Down low. Here's Purdue. And slam dunk by Purdue. When you face Jordan, you put so much focus on MJ that it creates openings for other guys. Kicks it to Turner. to Anderson. Jacks up a three. Chicago grabs the miss. Purdue's got rebound number eight now on the night. It's Pippen on the way. Pass to Jordan. Over Anderson. Again, Chicago. Enjoying this big lead, and right now they look unstoppable on offense. Everything is going exactly how their coach drew it up. Top to bottom. This is the pinnacle of execution. Now a timeout called by Orlando.
so here's Orlando. It's a 14-point game. The pass to Turner. Pass to Anderson. There's the triple. That ball. Nice speed that time from Turner. Turner's got his fourth assist in this one. Pass to Paxson. Jordan outside. Over Anderson. And the Bulls tack on two more. Coming out of halftime, they're on an absolute tear. And I don't know what was said in that locker room, but it's working. Outside Turner. Pass to Scott. Let's it go from deep. It's all in by the Bulls. Green Scott is fifth rebound in this one. Pippen against Scott. Grant with a screen on Scott. Here's Pippen. Rebound by Harold. Harold's got his sixth rebound on the night. The Magic trail by 13. Guarded by Paxson. Six on the shot clock. Left side, Anderson. Over Jordan. Anderson can't get it to go. He tried to use the fadeaway. Get a little space. Not an easy shot to break. And it's Pippen with the jam. Textbook timing from Pippen. He tracks the pass and gets there for the big finishing touch. Guarded by Paxson. And the pass to Scott. Shoots over Pippen. Once again off the mark, Orlando. And here are the Bulls now. They're on a 15-5 run here. Here's Grant and the dunk by Grant. A really good vision, very unselfish. That's why you run offense through Scotty Pippen. The Magic trail by 17. Anderson outside. He kicks to Hero. Shot clock at five. And Scott has it in the corner. Puts up a deep three. Anderson's shot is off. That's a long way out there, but you know it's a shot. He knows he can make. Fearless and deadly. Grant finds Pippen. by the Magic. Now here's Anderson. And two points for him. Good on the shot. Turner's got five points so far. Coaches love when your two makes a nice pass. Anderson with a smart delivery. Now Pippen. He's got 11. Here's Jordan. Good and Grant gets the assist. Green's got his fourth assist in this one. Giving up mid-range looks to a shooter like him, not going to help you get out of this hole. Yeah, time for a change because right now, they're just getting beat up. Now a timeout called by Orlando. Williams has checked in for the bowl. And the Magic making a change here as well. Shaw's checked in. From the inbound, it's blocked. Imposing his will on defense. Produce teammates love when he makes hustle plays like that. And that kind of stifling effort on defense needs another look. Reads the play well there and gets himself in the air at just the right time. Terrific denial. Passes it to Anderson. 
Knocked away. And stolen by Jordan. And Jordan sends it home. And the high flying antics of Jordan simply awesome. The Magic trail by 19. Buster Shaw. Pocket six. And he gets the whistle for the three-second call. When you're struggling to get ahead, a mistake like that is doubly damaging. Absolutely the wrong time for that kind of slip-up. I agree. It just destroys your momentum. Kings checked in for Chicago. Armstrong comes in for Jordan. Now to change for the Magic. Newman's checked in for Harold. Here is Armstrong. To the middle. Here's Williams. Plays it up and banks it in. And the Bulls lead by 21. Nicely done by Armstrong. They recognized the overcommitment from the defense. Got his team made a nice opportunity. He's covered by Armstrong. Picked away. It's Pippen on the way. Jackson outside. Outside Williams. King right side. Feeds to Armstrong. Left side Williams. Here's Pippen. And the Bulls pack on two more. Great find by Williams that time. Always nice to get some playmaking out of your front court. Pass to Shaw. And the Bulls making a change here. I just checked in. Anderson against Pippen. Newman, the pass to Anderson. Five to shoot. Here's Reynolds. Their offense, Stone Cold. Another miss there. And here's Armstrong. He's got eight. King, that's good. King's got six. Lots of physicality from King on that play, forcing his way to an inside look. Time call here. The Magic decide to talk it over. Orlando's gone into a slump here from three-point range, shooting just one of five here in the third. The pass to Reynolds. 14 feet away, and the shot goes in. He's got nine. That's an awful defensive lapse, allowing the uncontested jumper. Here is Hodges. Hasn't made one yet. Williams a screen. Armstrong with it. Shot clock at six. At the elbow, Williams. Oh, and the jam by Williams. There's that rebounding that Scott Williams is known for. I love seeing him go after the offensive glass like that. Here is Shaw. He's covered by Armstrong. Puts it up from 17. Train for two points. Reynolds has got four points in the quarter. You know, I think they've got to show a little more anticipation dealing with these screens because right now they're just laying on them and getting stuck. Look, you have to go over the top or duck under. Right now they're seemingly trying to go through the screen. And Orlando will get a change here. Scott's checked in. 
Magic substitution. Number three, Billy Scott. There's 47 seconds left to play here in the third. Bulls moving the ball around. Here's Pippen. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Boy, Pippen gets the bucket and is going to shoot the and one. Excellent concentration there. Bulls have missed two free throws in the game, going five for seven. Free throw good from Pippen. There's 39 seconds left in the third. Passes it to Newman. Pass to Scott. Pippen with the steal. Shoots over Scott. Pippen, no luck. Outside, Scott. And the shot is good. Scott's got 13 points. Love the energy on his drive. The defense didn't expect that coming from him. Just beyond the clock. And out of bounds out of bound. as the Magic will gain possession. Heady player, Shaw reads the defense effectively, knowing exactly where he can get his shots. And so it's Michael Jordan making things happen for Chicago. He notched eight points in the quarter and has that terrific basketball instinct on display. We'll return shortly. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. Outside Williams. Back to Jordan. And they double up Jordan. Williams dishes to Jordan. Six to shoot. The 19-foot shot. Tries again. And Williams with the layup. Like the energy from Williams in the paint. Going in for a strong finish that time. Orlando's gotten the three-point bug tonight. They've taken 15 shots outside the arc. Six of 15. Pass to Reynolds. Orlando again with the bucket. The Bulls leading by 21. Now, here's Jordan. About a minute played here in the fourth quarter. Orlando grabs the miss. Up top Armstrong. Dishes it to Jordan. Left side Williams. Back to Jordan. The second chance effort. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Williams. Williams has got three assists tonight. I think Jordan could do this all day long. I mean, the mid-range area is a very comfortable area for him. Here's Newman. To the inside. Williams comes with the double team. And a bit of a battle here for the ball. The official signals a jump ball here. on the clock. Here's Shaw. Michael Jordan grabs the miss. And here's Jordan. He'll bring it up for the Chicago Bull. A great fourth quarter. Just giving up two points. Putting his size and reach to use on the alley-oop. King making it look so simple right there. So it's Orlando now. The Bulls getting the bucket. 
Here's Newman. There's the pass to Scott. Over Jordan. And Scott, good. Not nearly tough enough defense inside. They made that all too easy for him. Chicago leading by 23. Outside Williams. Here's King over Wilson. And the Bulls tack on two more. And this is how you guard King. But sometimes he still slinks it. Orlando, they've gone two or three from the field to get the fourth quarter started. Pass to Newman. And we're about three minutes into the fourth quarter. To the paint. Here's Scott. He is rebounded by Jordan. For Chicago, they've gotten four of their six shots to fall so far here in the fourth. A pretty nice efficiency there. To the wing on the left. And play stops. Whistle on what looks to be an illegal screen. you got to make sure that you're stationary and set when you're going to set a screen. Any kind of movement typically will draw the whistle. Yeah, he made things easy for the ref right there. Clear offensive foul on the pick. Paxson, he's checked in for Chicago. And a switcher also for Orlando. Harrell's checked in. Here's Reynolds. Here's Scott. That one a little long. Now, the defense was far from awful. However, he's still got to make these shots, in my opinion. And they double up Jordan. Kicks it to Armstrong. Pass to Jordan. Wilson, he's checked in for Newman. Magic ball. Magic substitution. Orlando's gotten the three-point bug tonight. They've taken 15 shots outside the arc. Six of 15. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. A tremendous team effort, Mike, offensively from them tonight. Well, they've been unselfish, a ton of assists, plus lots of different scorers out there. Yeah, things you all appreciate. Fantastic job getting this kind of a look at the rim. King flushes it home whenever he can. Here is Shaw. Perilous screen on Armstrong. Pass to Reynolds. He dishes it to Scott. Here is Shaw. Shot clock at five. He kicks to Harrell. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Second personal foul. First team foul. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for the Bulls. Well, you know, for me, when you can convert this many times in the paint, I think that's a sign that your offense is really in a healthy state. They've also been striking for mid-range with great consistency tonight. They just own that part of the floor in this one. That free throw, no good. And the second free throw, good. For Chicago, they've gone five of seven from the field since the beginning of the fourth. Strong work at that end of the floor. That's clearly a frustration foul. You can see that coming by the look on his face. Taking it out with a foul won't change much. He's got to have a more level head than that. Maxson outside. And the pass to Armstrong. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. Six on the shot clock. And they double up Jordan. For three, Paxson. It's hauled in by the Magic. Turner's got four rebounds now tonight. Anderson kicks to Hero. Passes it to Scott. Scott with a screen on Armstrong. Back to Scott. Over Jordan. Scott, good. 
Scott's got 10 points in just the second half. Not exactly the most solid screen you'll see. Still works, though. Jordan outside. Williams has a screen for Jordan. Kicks it to Armstrong. Out to get it to Jordan and does. Textbook alley who finished that time by Jordan. Picking a clean pass right out of the air for the big slam. He's covered by Armstrong. Dish now to Scott. Out of bounds as Orlando keeps possession. So for the Bulls. Purdue comes in for King. Scotty Pippen is subbed in for Armstrong. Scotty Pippen. And Anderson kicks to Scott. Pippen with the steal. He feeds it to Jordan. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. Pretty good display of strength by Jordan there. Absorb the contact and still able to nail the shot. Some changes for Chicago. Livingston's checked in for Purdue. Jordan comes in for Pippen. And B.J. Armstrong has subbed in for Paxson. Free throw, no good for Jordan. You know, the separator with Jordan from other guys is his drive. That's obvious in my mind. He wants to win more than most anybody else out there on the floor. It's stolen. And here's the fast break. Jordan leading the way. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Fourth personal foul. Third team foul. At the line for your goals, B.J. Armstrong. Two shots. And that one falls for Armstrong. As solid a rotational player that you'll find. Armstrong was superb at playing his role. And the Bulls making a change here. And both free throws good for Armstrong. Orlando, they've gone three of six in the field so far in the fourth quarter. Right side, Scott. Just five to shoot. I'm deep. Good on the three-point shot. Ever since halftime, they have been parked out at the arc, dropping bomb after bomb. And who can blame them? When you're hitting like this, you got to just keep it going. Now here's Jordan. Jordan's got eight points here in this quarter. And Jordan is simply amazing at finishing through contact. Doesn't matter what you throw at him or who, he finds a way to score. And so it looks like the Magic will retain possession here. Good activity there, breaking things up. Love the activity defensively. And he wanted to steal it, but still making an impact for his team. The Bulls making a switch here. Hodges checked in. Hit by Harold. Five on the clock. Orlando moving the ball around. And what was that about? Not a good shot right there. Bulls are gone. Eight of 11 from the field in the final period. Great shooting down the stretch. King against Harold. King right side. It's Jordan, top of the key. The 15-footer, good. 
29 points for Michael Jordan. And once Jordan gets rolling, you're done. Because he's relentless in how he continues to attack. Outside Turner, asked to Scott, fires from deep. Rebound by Williams. And here's Williams now. He'll bring it up for the bowl. They'll host the Denver Nuggets after this one. They'll find themselves in the middle of this string of three straight at home. Hodges, that's good. And Hodges just knows where to be on offense. Loves getting inside and capitalizing, too. Pass to Scott. And the foul called on Michael Jordan. That's foul number two for him. Jordan, he's checked in for Michael Jordan. Checking into the lineup for your number 34, Jaden Jordan. Outside Turner. Anderson outside. Out to the right wing. Just five on the clock. Turner with a screen on Armstrong. Another miss by Orlando. They're running away with this one right now. Now they're just seeing how big they can make this lead. Turner with the steal. Scott with the ball. He's picked up by Jordan. Anderson outside. Clock at six. They get a hand on it. Williams with the steal. Oh, and a fast break for the Bulls. Here's King. The lucky seven drops in. He's perfect from the four. Seven for seven. They've gotten out to a big lead because of superior play on both ends. No better way to do it. It's much easier to win games when you own both sides of the floor. Now here's Anderson. Trying to find Scott. Gets it to him. Over Jordan. Scott. Good. Scott's got 12 points in just the second half. That's what you want to work for. A high percentage look in deep. Armstrong passes to Jordan. King against Harrell. King left side. And the rejection by Harrell. The pass to Anderson, to the right side. And Scott has it in the corner. Down to five on the shot clock. Williams comes with the double team. Offensive rebound. Scott, good. Scott's got eight points here in this quarter. And right from the get-go, they stood out as the better team. Their hunger to dominate and play for each other was outstanding for the Bulls. I no question about this one, delivering a decisive victory here. They were able to execute better and made the most of their chances. Fantastic performance from the whole roster. You said it. And on the year now, tonight's impending victory will push their win total to 47. And as usual, some excellent work tonight in what was a quality big impact game for Michael Jordan. Giving him the business all night. Felt he could get a buck at any time he wanted to. Hodges, that's good. What a way for them to finish the game. Closing it out with some terrific play. We've seen too many games slip away late. They did a great job of putting this one to bed. Passes to Harrell. Outside Turner. He's covered by Armstrong. And there's the feed to Scott. Out to the wing. Fires from 18. It's all in by the Bulls. Now the Bulls with it. They're on an 18-7 run. Harrell against Armstrong. And so Chicago takes this one and by a big margin. Like we expected, the game could be a blowout, and, <laughs> and that's exactly what we got. This team is hard enough to beat on the road, but at home, they take it to another level. And that about wraps it up. Mark Kellogg, Mike Fratello, and David Aldridge, and the rest of our 2K team, this is Kevin Harlan signing off. We'll see you later.